All right, Jim, I'm excited to, uh, to dive in and talk to you. First and foremost, let's start, give a little info on the family dynamic, and then sure. where were you at personally, professionally, kind of life perspective prior to jumping into the Warrior Dad experience? Happy to do that, and thanks for asking, Jeff. So uh, in my early 50s, live in uh, suburban Philadelphia. I've got a uh, wonderful wife, two teenage kids, uh, wonderful kids, not without the challenges of raising teenagers, but uh, you know, very grateful for their health and uh, and for what we have. When when I really got attracted to looking more at the program, I was thinking of a couple of things: building in new structures and disciplines that could help me uh, have a better day, and really start and end the day differently with some more intent and some more focus in between. And I've always had you know, good stretches of motivation and push towards change. But when I've gotten with a group of people and feel like I've been properly led, um, I've, I've had progress. And, and I would say that I've, I've found this. So there was no crisis that drove me to do this. It was really an effort to, to do better. Uh, since I've started, we've had some, some tougher moments around the house, as all families do. And it's made me incredibly grateful for the structures that I've been able to build in to start and finish the day, uh, the activity, the mindset, and then, you know, really the, I'll use the word fellowship amongst the people that are doing this together and the communication we've had to make this work. Gotcha. Thanks. So that being said, and, and I appreciate those kind words, what, what are maybe one or two, maybe three things tops that through the 10 week process, mm -hmm. you've really loved Implementing, taken to, it could be, you know, a practice, it could be being more disciplined, right? Uh, give give one, two, or, or maybe three things. I'll, I'll do that. And I'll say that first, you won't be perfect. Don't let that stand in the way of progress. Yeah. Um, but for me, what I value the most is how I feel when I start the day. Okay. And, and what's changed by that is, you know, following some, some very simple, uh, simple tasks that were, were laid out to us when we started uh, about physical health, about movement, and about consistency in uh, brief meditation, mindset, focus, and how easy it was after a fairly short period of time in the morning to lead into more activity or times of improved thinking or deeper uh, moments of connection with the family. So I would say that, look, the way the day starts for many of us is the driver of how the day is going to going to go, and I feel like I've had a, a just you know a, a real foundational change there that sets uh, me and allows for the people around me to have a much better experience on a path to having a great day. So, as simple as that sounds, it takes time and it takes practice and it takes refinement. We keep talking about that, and then during the day, this idea of being present intent and having a greater sense of discipline has been um, has been much more on my mind. And, and then where I've seen the changes is it's subtle. It's those moments where I'm going to have an extra piece of cake. I'm going to loaf it and sit in the couch for two hours. There's a lot of times where I didn't have the governor to stop that. Mm -hmm. And now sometimes I'll just think, I don't know. I don't really think so. Like I'm having these different experiences where the bookends to the, to the daily structure and the other techniques we've learned have helped guide me during the day to avoid some of those trappings of either self-indulgence or wanting to check out. Gotcha. Awesome. Love, love that piece. So yeah. somebody, there's a dad watching this saying, on the fence. Do I commit? Do I not commit? What would be your, your recommendation to them and advice? I got some great advice a long time ago. If you're going to bet on anyone, bet on yourself, you know, it says in some of the most meaningful books in the world that as the father, you are the leader of the family. And if you're going to lead, people should want to follow you. And if you're at all questioning whether or not your family feels like they should follow you in the way that you're acting, and you're concerned about a personal investment in that, I would really focus on the why there. You know, like what is that really about? And what I would encourage you to do is to make the personal investment in yourself so that you can be 
an improved person. Because for me, you know, where where I think I'll come to when when our our program comes to an end is uh, not really thinking about whether or not these disciplines are going to continue. Uh, I want to grow and expand on them. Mm-hmm. And a lot of what you learn is what you don't know today. So whatever you're thinking at the moment, open up your mind, make the investment and I would really struggle to think that you won't be a considerably better person at the end. Awesome. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate the time. Yeah, man.